This is a quote from Kierkegaard's concluding unscientific postscript, as translated from the Danish by David F. Swenson in 1941, completed by Walter Lorry after Swenson's death. From page 320. By relating how this or that man really has done so and so, something very great and distinguished, it might be imagined that a reader would be brought nearer to the forming of a resolution to do the same than if the account is offered merely as a possibility. Abstracting from the fact that the reader can understand such a communication only by resolving the essay of its reality into a passé, since otherwise he merely imagines that he understands it, the knowledge that this or that person has actually done so and so may just as well constitute a hindrance to action as a stimulus by means of the consideration that he is an actual person the reader transforms the doer of the deed into a rare exception he admires him and says but i am too humble to do anything like that admiration has its very proper place in connection with differential achievements but it is a misunderstanding when brought into relation with what is universally human that a man can swim the channel that another is proficient in twenty-four languages that a third man can walk on his hands may be admired si place but if any one is supposed to be great in connection with what is universal by his virtue by his faith by his high-mindedness by his loyalty by his pertinacity and so forth admiration is a deceitful relationship or may readily become such whatever is great in the sphere of the universally human must therefore not be communicated as a subject for admiration but as an ethical requirement in the form of a possibility it becomes a requirement instead of presenting an account of the good in the form of actuality as is usually done instead of insisting that such and such a person has actually lived and has really done this or that by which the reader is transformed into an admiring spectator a critical connoisseur the good should be presented in the form of a possibility this will bring home to the reader as closely as is possible whether he will resolve to exist in it a communication in the form of the possible operates in terms of the ideal man not the differential ideal but the universal ideal whose relationship to every individual man is that of a requirement in the same degree as it is urged that it was this particular man who did the deed it becomes easier for others to make him out an exceptional case thanks for listening